Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on problem solving, find a pattern. Different patterns occur frequently in mathematics. Numbers such as the even numbers, 0, 2, 4, 6, etc. and the square numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, etc. have an obvious pattern which defines each of them. At times we can also find patterns associated with 2D shapes, 3D objects and colours. Look for these patterns to help you solve your problem. Example 1. Find the sum of the following set of numbers. So we're adding all these numbers together. Solution. If you look carefully you will see an obvious pattern. The numbers 1 plus 2 are repeated on four separate occasions. So, instead of adding the eight digits together separately, we can do the following. So let's see, there's 1 plus 2, and again, and again, and again. So can you see how it's repeated on four separate occasions? So the sum of all the numbers will be 4 times 1 plus 2. If we add the 1 plus 2 together, that gives us 3. 4 3's are 12, and that's the sum of the, of the numbers. What is the next number in this pattern? Each number is obtained by adding 3 to the previous number. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 3 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 17, 17 plus 3 is 20. So the next number is 17 plus 3, is 20. Example 3. What is the tenth term in this set of numbers? So let's have a look. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. We notice that the above string of numbers can be generated as follows. The first one is 3, which is 3 times 1. The second one is 6, which is 3 times 2. The third one is 9, which is 3 times 3. So there's the first, there's the second, there's the third, and there's the fourth, which is 3 times 4. So it makes sense that the tenth one, after we follow this pattern, is 3 times 10, and that must be 30. So we, so what can you deduce from the above pattern? So it's asking the question, which is saying, what pattern can you notice? You notice that each number is three times whatever the number is. In other words, the first number, the second number, the third number, the fourth number. The fifth number is three times five. So the tenth number must be three times ten. And that gives you thirty. Example four. Consider the following pattern of shapes. What is the next shape? Circle, square, triangle circle, square, so first shape, circle, square, triangle, circle, square and it makes sense that it is the triangle. Of course it follows the pattern, doesn't it? Example 5, look at the pattern below. This is just some matches as you can see. Look at the number of matches which make up each of the three first three squares. So you've got three squares here we're going to try and work out if there's a pattern to actually construct those three squares. Can you see a pattern? So let's have a look at it carefully, see if we can work out if there's a pattern. Well, for the first square, see this first square here? One, two, three, four. You need four matches, don't you, for that square? How many extra matches do you need for the second square? Another three. One, two, three. Because we've already counted that one, so that's an extra three. How many matches do you need to make up the third square? One, two, three. Because we've already used that one. Can you see a pattern? How many matches are needed to construct five squares side by side. All right, let's see how we can do this. We've already seen that to construct one square only, 
We need four matches, so that's done. Two squares, this one and this one, is four plus three. That gives you seven. Three squares, this one, this one, and this one, is four plus three plus three. That gives you ten. In other words, the pattern I see, and I think you see it too, that for each extra square, you need an extra three matches. So for four squares, it's 10 plus 3, which is 13. So it makes sense that for five squares, it's 13 plus 3, and the answer is 16 matches. So you need 16 matches for five squares. So there are some good examples to show you how you can use patterns to solve problems.